Season 2, Episode 9. Brought to you with the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers, click on the link in the description below. Last time on Races to Places, Basil Bike needed some repairs and the boys went exploring. to places, we like to highlight iconic points along Linden's journey, hopefully showing you guys the wonders of our planet, both in natural beauty and man-made features. Sadly, some of the world's iconic spots are remembered for darker reasons. You'll all remember the Back to the Future trilogy, feel-good films based around a futuristic time machine which is powered by nuclear fusion, all harmless fun. Then there's the world's seemingly endless supply of electricity powering everything from cell phones to cars. Again, over 10% of this comes from nuclear fusion, which in the right hands can be a demonstration of human ingenuity. They say that with every high, there's a low. Well, when certain governments want to test nuclear bombs for their destructive capabilities, they have to do it somewhere. That brings us to Semipalatinsk, also known as the Polygon. It's a testing site, used from 1949 to 1989, and finally shut down in 1991 by President Nazarbayev, who made a courageous decision to renounce nuclear weapons testing. However, in the 40 years it was open, numerous weapons were detonated without any consideration for local people or the environment, ending in devastating consequences for many. As is often the case, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, as this seemingly desolate but beautiful landscape hides a dark and sinister past, where the half-life of the nuclear fallout will be many tens of thousands of years. The dynamic duo seem fearless to this health hazard and dive straight in. And as neither rider has children, I'd say the boys are pretty brave. Hopefully, the short time they'll spend here will have no effect on them. All right. Let's go in. We're going in. Yeah, which part is here? We're down the stairs. Now look, this is what we found. So what you can see here is the door. And uh, this is where the door would bolt shut. Door frame about 40, 50 centimeters wide. It's pretty it's big. Open. All right, let's go in. It's pretty dark, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see much. Wow, it's pretty cool down here. How big it is. This is like a boiler room inside, and down here on the wall, you can see like where the hot water pipes have been cut out. But obviously, this was just like a big fire room. And then if we turn around, you can see the chimney. Chimney hole is up there. Shiny head torch on me. It's pretty spooky in here. <laughs> the door's been like burned open. It's all been like burned apart Just find Basil out here somewhere Clearly this is one of many huge bomb craters I'd say this looks like the main watchtower for the nuclear bombs being detonated. We had imagined there were some like big perspex windows, but it looks like they were like, you know, sort of six inches thick or something. And we tried to climb up the tower, but you can't get up there. Someone's stolen the staircases and it's too dangerous to climb up, so we didn't go up. But again, it's just amazing what we keep finding, just stumbling across these things in the middle of 
They built some bridges and then obviously practiced bombing them in, in the middle. And there's another one over there. So we saw this truck in the middle of nowhere and uh, wondered what it was. And then we saw some dudes walking around in like radioactive suits with like Geiger counters or whatever they're called. And then we thought maybe that they're checking for some like radioactive stuff and we shouldn't actually be here. So we kind of found the funny side of it and then left. <laughs> That seems to have cut short the exploration adventure for the dynamic duo. Wanting to push on, away from the polygon, the cameras are packed away until they reach Altai, where they will stay at a friend of Walter Kolbach's called Yana. En route to Yana's, they're distracted from the road by a fellow motorcyclist's bike. We've even got some underfloor lighting. Look at that. Like street lighting. Some beer and some wine. This dude's just brought a um, a hedgehog, a hedgehog into the living quarters. Hello, whoa, hello. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Races to places, Linden crosses a rather precarious bridge. Brought to you with the adventure spec Magadan Panniers. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers, click on the link in the description below.